yeah, as like a super curious guy, it's it's been so much fun. But yeah, don't don't even get me started on like explaining pineapples to to friends and family. <laughs> they just know that I'm obsessed <laughs> with pineapples now. And um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I was here. about to bring that up. I got I got pineapples all over the place. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Oh my goodness! It's show and tell. So that's oh, sick. that's you. Yeah, me as a pineapple. That's so cool. I love that. I love that you have that. <laughs> right? Yeah, my wife made that for me for my birthday. She just, you know, I, I woke up one morning and it, like the whole place was just covered in like pineapple stuff and, <laughs> and everything. Can you explain briefly? I'm sure you've you have to explain this like every time, but where does the pineapple pineapple come from? It's just stupid it's <laughs> like all this stuff it comes back to the meme right like when we right. started the meme project so without spending a ton of time because uh we could talk about this for hours like this whole concept kind of originated from a tweet that i made back in august um so i made the silly tweet i designed this interface of a product that didn't really exist but i pretended it did i, I mocked up this product that, that that was in DeFi, and at the time there was this DeFi project called Yam, and they used the Yam emoji. So it was kind of a riff on that, and I just happened to pick the pineapple emoji. Um, so this tw this tweet is very niche inside crypto type of tweet. It goes viral in the in the Ethereum and Bitcoin um, universe. It was like a quarter million impressions in a couple of days or something. It like spun out of control. I created a Telegram group. Um, so we had a bunch of like passionate people in this space, in this Telegram group early on. And we're like, hey, let's do something. What should we do? Okay, let's create a token. Uh, let's call it the meme token. All right. Uh, since this kind of whole thing started from my like my satirical tweet, let's use the, the pineapple as our logo. And it just kind of snowballed from there. So we, we, we had the meme first, then the community. Uh, and then we're, essentially we're like, we should actually probably go build something, right? What's what's cool? What's memeable? What's meme worthy? Well, NFT art is awesome. And um, at the time, there was something in DeFi called yield farming, which is kind of some of the, the similar mechanics that you'll see in meme. Um, and we're like, yeah, let's let's mash up yield farming with NFTs and let's see what happens. So yeah, then we built the first version of uh, the meme platform in just a few days. It was actually ten days from concept to mainnet Ethereum. It was almost like a hackathon project where me and a few developers built this thing out. We didn't think much of it, but the whole concept was you stake meme tokens, you earn pineapple points, and then you're able to redeem those pineapple points for NFT art. And at the time it was uh, just the one Genesis pool. And then we just kept growing and building and then started working uh, directly with artists and doing these exclusive drops. And the whole thing has just kind of gone out of control just in, in yeah, four months when four months ago it was it was nothing. It was just a silly joke. Um, so that's like even crazier that this wasn't planned. This wasn't thought through. It just kind of was like a spark of magic. And then it kind of turned into what it is now. Just 20 meme started as a meme. That, exactly. That's amazing. That's why the art is always fun. And we always try to have fun with it, right? Um, all of just comes back to having fun. I mean, it's amazing art, it's amazing tech, uh, a lot of really smart people working on this thing. But at the end of the day, it's like, let's just remember like where this came from. It came from a meme. Let's just keep having right. fun. So yeah, it's yeah. really fun. Yeah, I really, I like the curation on the site. It's like all, yeah, it's like all very pure and funny art. And a lot of my work is like that. And I feel like this is a good fit for me. Like I don't really make serious and like deep art a lot of the times. So this is like the perfect fit. Yeah, it's perfect. I, I, uh, I really enjoyed a lot of your stuff with the cows and the, what it was, uh, a dog on some Coke cans or something, right? Some of these pieces I'm like, oh yeah, this guy's perfect. He's perfect for us. I love it. So, um, you got Sven. I can't remember their name. Eberwine, I think is how it's. Put. Yeah, that was your first um, like meme drop artist. That was our first artist drop. So yeah, we were 
we were around a couple of weeks with our Genesis drop, which is more like trading cards, uh, kind of characters of people in the crypto space. Um, Vitalik, the creator of Ethereum, he had a card, and uh, a bunch of uh, a bunch of these other like personalities in crypto had had a card. But it wasn't until talking to Sven, we're like, wow, this could actually be like an art platform because uh, he loves what we're doing. Um, he kind of caught the vision and we love his stuff. And it was less like caricature type of illustration. And it was more like, no, dude, this, this guy is an amazing artist, 3D artist at that, 3D animated artist. And um, he loved the pineapple stuff and he just kind of went all in and did some amazing work. So yeah, I think that kind of put us on the map in terms of like, okay, they're more than just like this silly weekend project, DeFi, you know, DAP, and they're and you know they're actually doing something legit in like the art side. So I think that collab was was really big for us, and it was great working with him. Yeah, totally. That's how I found you guys. So I guess Same. I've known about you since the start. I'd be in calls and stuff, and all I hear is. Do you hear about meme? Do you know what meme is? It's this pineapple yep. thing. Do you understand it? I said, no, tell me about it. And it's all people would talk about. And I think that's so cool that now we're talking and we're doing these drops together. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I'm so I'm so excited to work with you too, if you I mean, it's just gonna be like a cool cycle because you know this this started out as a joke and then we got a little bit more credibility, a little more a little bit more momentum and excitement with with Sven. Um, and yeah, if you would have told me just a few months ago when we started talking that we'd be able to work together on something cool and do like amazing art and not just something that's like, like throwaway stuff or, you know, like we're, we're talking to some of the top uh, artists in the space, including you guys. And um, it's crazy. It's crazy to think of. I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited. I saw that yeah. John Norlander drop. When he posted it, I said, ooh, I want to be with Meme. <laughs> That's so cool. That got me so excited. Yeah, I love his work. Yeah. Just took it up another level with like, and he caught it right away. And, and he did 3D Pineapple, right? And then, um, but he still had, you know, a ton of, had a ton of fun with it. I want to keep working with him as well. I, I keep bugging all the artists we've worked with. Like, let's do more, let's do more. <laughs> And we try to keep this cadence of like once a week, a new artist. And sometimes it's hard to like tell people, sorry, we're booked up. Like I got to put you, we got to put you, you know, in, in January, but yeah, the rest of January, like into January, we're, we're already booked with like artists that are lining up. So it's really exciting stuff. You got people coming on. That's pretty, that's, that's huge. Oh man. That's another just like mind blowing thing that we, that we got people. I mean, yeah, I assume that you guys kind of were following along with that. Um, so yeah, he did his drop last week, right? Um, on Nifty Gateway, which is just insane, right? I think he ended up selling like three and a half million or something like that in just a weekend. Crazy. Granted, it's years and years <laughs> of his work and he did a, a bunch of stuff that he's been working on, but um, just mind blowing. Uh, and I've been talking to people as, as well, kind of right around when the when he started getting into NFTs, you know, he did an Ethereum piece that he posted on his Instagram a couple months back. That was right around the time where Meme was starting to get big. And he just happened to do that uh, that one. The pineapple one? The pineapple piece, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, it's, it's the background on my phone. Oh my oh, God. Oh, sick. That's anyways awesome. that's such a nice piece yeah so he does that piece the undersea uh spongebob house piece he just happened to pick a pineapple he just happened to do it that day and everyone took to his twitter and his instagram they're like is this like is this a meme piece is this, is this a meme col collab everyone assumed it was a meme collab um and i'm like no but like let's make it happen um so I reached out to, to people and I'm like, dude, we got to talk. Everyone thinks we're working together. Let's, 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 let's chat. And we ended up talking and then this was maybe a month or two ago. And then a couple of weeks ago, he tells me what's going on with the, his like physical appro approach to like selling the physical tokens with the screen and everything. And one of the pieces was that work. And then he's like, dude, 
let's do something crazy. If this one sells for 69 grand, then 100% I'm doing a collab with me. And then like in on site, it said that as well. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. And he locked it in already because he put 69 grand. I'm like, do you think I can get him to like lower that price? Because that's, mm -hmm. dude, that's like double what someone makes in a year. Like there's, there's no way. But sure enough, like it passed 69K pretty quickly and ended up selling for like 115,000, wow. something like that. Just for one NFT of a work that he did a few months ago. And the, the, the owner is going to get this little plaque thing. Amazing, right? And then it was like, well, I guess we're working together. And he, he was kind of pushing forward on that. Yeah, 100% locked in. So it's early and uh, we're trying to figure out what's the best, like what, what can we do with people that's just going to like blow everybody's mind? Um, cause I mean, he just blew everyone's minds with the last, with his last drops. It's like, right. What, what is, and there's certain expectations meme plus people. What is, what is that? What does that mean? So I think we've got our work cut out for us, but super excited to be working with, with him. Uh, he's just an awesome dude. That's yeah. interesting. It's only recently. I, when he posted that, I thought y'all were working together. That's so, yeah. I didn't everybody know. did. It's so funny how, uh, we, we, we own a fruit now. Any, anytime you see a fruit, I have friends that are just, they'll see a fruit, they'll see a pineapple on a random spot and they'll take a picture of it and send it to me or they'll buy me gifts or something because it's got a pineapple. So it's funny that like just memes, even just emojis in general, just like visual, visual communication um, and just the power of a symbol it can have. Right. Um, it's, it's insane. Yeah, I got the cow. I yeah. probably get like, I don't know, two to 10 DMs a day of like cool cow photos. And every time someone sees one, they send them my way and all my gifts. I get like cow themed gifts now. <laughs> I didn't think it would stick this much. <laughs> I'm not mad. And, I, and now you've got the Easter Island head, the rock head. Yeah, <laughs> for sure.